What's most important is that we really need to educate consumers about what it is that is being uh, taken from them, how it's being collected, how it's being used, who it's being sold to. There's a lot of data out there for every individual. There's probably 15,000 points of data being collected by these big data companies. And one was mentioned that was mentioned favorably. There are others that maybe aren't doing such a great job of letting people know what this information is that they're taking. You heard me mention a couple of things that were we're going to be proposing in the legislative session. This is informational day at the legislature, so it's not really the day to get into all the nitty gritty about the laws that we'll be proposing. But for example, data breach. That's a law that we have on the books, but that hasn't been updated since 2007. It's time to update it. It's time to define in accordance with the modern day what the meaning of personal information is because we haven't included a lot of things in that law in order to be able to actually enforce an identity, identity theft and data breach uh, when it occurs and it's happening all the time. So we're going to be working on that and you heard a mention of a, something called SOPIPA which sounds a little bit like a pastry, that's not what it is. It's actually a proposed law that's passed in California already that protects student data, that, that protects educational data so that it won't be sold to people it shouldn't be in the hands of, and so it'll be protected and used for the purposes for which it's intended. There's nothing wrong with technology when it's used properly. Certainly in the education world, we know that nothing, we're not going to go back to the days of you know composition books necessarily, although it's good for handwriting, it may not necessarily be the best thing for uh, really doing the best job of teaching our kids.